So here is an update on update 12 and how to fix the mess that they have created. So the first thing I noticed I went into my shipyard and tried to manage my ships and then this screen got stuck. I was only able to rotate the ship and that was it. So I tested again, I turned off the steam overlay completely, I also unplugged the controller. I'm gonna show you that the controls work just fine, I can scroll, I can use WASD keys, I can press space, I can press right mouse click, as you can see the menus all light up, I can go in here, I can go in here, I can click on anything. I can go in here, everything works just fine, I can go to commodity market, everything works, I can click on things, I can use the buttons again, I can use spacebar, everything works just fine, I can go to the crew lounge, everything works, as soon as I go into shipyard, if I click either on purchase ships or manager ships then everything stops working, if I click something in here, I can still use the mouse as you can see it moves over the buttons work just fine so how can this be an overlay if it works fine in here I can rotate the ship with left control I can click on the buttons right click goes back and now it got stuck in here that's it I don't know why it got stuck in here this time escape doesn't work nothing works I can't do anything at all even though escape doesn't work, I did realize that if you press B, then it opens this menu in here, so I can actually leave from here, and as you can see it works fine, there is nothing wrong with my controls, see? I can press the WASD keys, I can press the arrow keys, I can press spacebar, it opens the controls, everything is here, and if I press escape here, it goes back, but nothing here works, nothing, I can't click on anything. And now I'm back in the game, I'm gonna try this, see, it works here, right now it works, but as soon as I click on one of my ships, then it stops working. And if I click in here, purchase ships, that's it, it stops working, nothing works, as you can see I can't move anything, the WASD keys don't work, arrow keys don't work, the menus don't even light up, I can't move anything, and game is not crashed because I can rotate the ship. I hold down left control, which is my bind, and I can rotate the ship. As you can see, the lights on the ship work, they blink. So the game is not frozen, it's not crashed. It's just that this menu is broken. I can't click on anything. And again, if I press P on some reason, it opens the menu. I don't even know why it opens it, because for me it's escape. And if I press escape there, it goes out of the menu. So you can't possibly say that this has anything to do with my computer or the overlay. That is just pure stupid. The problem is specifically with this menu. So at least now I can go into the main menu, but that doesn't help me because I can't even buy new ships anymore. I'm stuck now. The game is unplayable for me. And you are blaming me and saying it's an overlay or something or a controller. It is not. Just look what's going on. Right mouse click, it, see, it even makes the cursor disappear, look at that, I press right click, see, it means it registers the thing, but nothing happens, because the game is just broken. And I contacted the support, and of course they recommended that said that, oh maybe it's the overlay, like Steam overlay or something, like guys, do they even think what they are saying? If that was an overlay issue, then how do they explain that all the other menus work just fine? It's like an overlay can't magically see when I click on a shipyard to purchase ships or something and then all of a sudden disable my controls. It literally makes no sense at all. So anyway, I checked it, I tried launching it without the steam overlay and nothing still didn't work. I uh, unblocked the controller as they recommended and after that I couldn't even get my controller working anymore. And the thing is none of this was the issue. The issue is that they messed it up in the settings. Someone in the comments recommended try changing your uh, disable uh, graphical user interface uh, effects on and off. I've had it on for a very very long time, I don't even remember when I last changed this, I don't 
touch my settings because I have it exactly the way I want it. I have all my quality, I have all my display, I have everything exactly the way I want it. So the, yeah, the option in here is that if you have this on, then the shipyard doesn't work. Like they have literally added an option in here that breaks the game. And the support has no idea about it. They don't even know what it is. They are blaming the player or so-called customer and saying that, yeah, it's your overlay or it's your controller. <laughs> like Jesus Christ, that made me so mad. But all that is, is that the update 12 broke this specific setting. So just turn this off, apply and you're good to go. And also if you have already gotten stuck on it then none of this works. You have to um, completely exit the game, relaunch the game and then disable that thing. I mean actually enable it but uh, you know what I mean. Make sure that it says off and then it will work. As about the controller I have absolutely no idea what they have done but I could not get it working in Odyssey no matter what I did so I had to use an external tool. As you can see my controls are exactly same as they used to be. See the controller buttons are here. It does work now. See I can uh, press the buttons and it works now because I fixed it with a third party tool. So I'm going to show you exactly what I did. So the first thing I did is I verified the game integrity. I verified it uh, through the launcher and through the steam. Uh, that didn't fix it. I also tried in horizons and in horizons the controller worked fine. So it's just an odyssey issue. I don't know why it generated it. But then I also noticed this in here. Check for X input. X input is uh, what controls the, like the, you know, different uh, input methods other than keyboard and mouse. So I thought that that might be the issue. I tried, you know, messing with this option. Doesn't do anything. It doesn't help at all. So then I looked into the Elite Dangerous folders, which is in here. That's the... Um, Elite Dangerous Horizons and this one is Odyssey. I didn't notice any of these files in here so I don't know. It didn't generate it. It didn't check anything. This option in the launcher doesn't work and then on some reason I noticed that I had the X360CE already in Horizons. I don't even know why I had it. I don't remember. Maybe I had some controller issues in the past even though I don't remember having them. I tried first copy and pasting this file specifically because that's what this launcher says in here. See uh, x input one underscore free. So it's this file. I tried copying it into the Odyssey folder. Nothing works. So I just uh, downloaded this tool 360CE uh, x 360CE. It's a free tool. Just Google it. Make sure it's a 64-bit uh, version because this game is a 64-bit version. Uh, then you just launch it. Uh, I think it detects some settings, something. You might have to, you know, make sure that the controller is working like this, see? I don't actually have an Xbox controller. I have a um, PlayStation 3 controller, actually. But that's the idea. It makes it work, you know, see? All the buttons work. So make sure your controller is working just like this in here. Then we go into game settings. Uh, just uh, make sure that you have the same things that you have this one in here uh, actually whoops I didn't even um, synchronize the settings in here um, yeah you might have to do that I, I don't want to touch it now because it works but you might have to click on this and then um, select the same files that I have selected in here actually it doesn't matter because uh, they are in the same folder see the 360 uh, CE and um, this one they are in the same folder so it yeah, that's why it works, but I don't want to touch it now. So anyway, these are the settings you have to select for um, this one, or just do it the way I did it. And then click uh, this button here, apply synchronized settings with these options enabled, everything that you see in here. And then just final check in here, make sure it moves, then click save, exit, and then you should be able to launch the game and the controller should work. At least this is what fixed it for me. I don't know why we need a third party tool now after the update 12. I never needed this in Odyssey before. I have no idea what they have done but this is absolutely ridiculous. The support was absolutely useless so I hope 
they're gonna compensate me for all this frustration, wasted time, and me solving their issues and showing how to fix their mess.